Hey there, this is Coach Bill with Meditate School of Mindfulness coming to you with a mindful message, a mindful moment. Uh, this morning I've been reading a bit of uh, a bit of the book Being Loved by Thich Nhat Hanh <clears throat> and it's opened me up even more to the teachings, the practice. The mindful practice of connecting to the heart and connecting to that true space inside. The more and more I study it and the more and more I practice it, the more I see what the practice is. It's not Buddhism or Hinduism or Christianity. or It's a practice of love. And when we see it from that perspective, a hurtful practice, a practice in true love. The teaching of true love says... <clears throat> when we connect to love, like the love we have for the earth or the sunrise, the love we have for the singing of birds or a flower, true love, a true love that can bring so much happiness, but it's a love that's already there. And it's a happiness that's already there. We just tend to get disconnected from it because we're connected to the striving and the wanting and the needing. But by practicing and connecting to that place of love we have inside, we see that it's something that can help us have more freedom. True love. Whether we see true love as a romantic love, a familial love, a love that we have for food and smells and tastes and songs. If it's true love, it can bring happiness. But in our relationships, if the love isn't true, it makes us suffer. And it makes the other person suffer. So in the mindful practice, we teach that to nurture the seeds of love, to make love more a part of our life, to truly connect to our authentic self and the energy we have inside. True love needs four elements. In the first element, is what we call a practice of loving kindness. It's a capacity to offer happiness and to offer that happiness without expecting anything in return. Because if we can't offer happiness, then we're not offering true love. But when we connect to the fact that we have the capacity to generate a feeling of joy and happiness from within ourselves. It is true love. And in our relationships, when we can come together and generate that joy and happiness, that's true love. In our relationships, if we're not able to serve each other, to help guide each other and hold each other in this place of happiness, then it's not true love. And without that, both suffer. But in the practice of mindfulness, we understand that it is not difficult. It's not difficult to connect with the joy and happiness we have inside. We just need to practice breathing. We just need to practice opening up that heart space and recognize all the conditions in our life that help make happiness available to us. Instead of striving for the perfect, perfect thing, we embrace the abundance that is ours. 
The second element of true love is compassion. Because compassion is the kind of energy that can help take away the suffering or help transform the suffering in ourselves and in the other person. There's so much suffering and we all know what suffering is. But when we hold that compassion and that space for others, we can use our own suffering to help transform the suffering of others. Speaking from that place of experience. If we don't connect to the capacity that we have within ourselves to be compassionate, if we don't take the time and the care to help ease the suffering in those that we love, it's not true love. It needs to be cultivated in ourselves and in our relationships. Whether it's a romantic love or a familiar love or whatever kind of love it is, it doesn't matter. But true love, true love has to, com to contain compassion. The third element of true love is joy. Joy. Joy that comes from the depths of our soul. I'm not talking about always a joy that's like balloons or streamers. I'm talking about that calm, peaceful, steady joy that we hold within ourselves. If in our relationships we tend to make others cry all the time, or we cry all the time, or we fight or argue, that's not true love. The fourth element, the element that comes by connecting all those other things, is inclusiveness. That inclusiveness that we want to share, that inclusiveness that comes when we see someone else suffering, we see that their suffering is our suffering. Their happiness is our happiness. That the truth is we're not separate from each other, we're together. In true love, there's this element of inclusiveness, of coming together. In true love, there should be no separation between ourselves and another. Yes, we're an individual and we have our own lives and our own desires and our own intentions. But together, we communicate what those things are. We would never say, that's your problem, not mine. Because your problem is my problem. My suffering is your suffering. My love is your love. If we can combine these four elements, it sure can bring so much happiness and joy. Because love, love is eternal. To be successful in walking in love, we need to cultivate loving kindness. We need to cultivate compassion we need to train ourselves to not be focusing so much on the external and turn our mind to the internal to find that steady joy that we have inside. The joy that comes with every breath, with every sunrise. The joy that comes when we hear our favorite songs. The joy that comes 
when we look in the eyes of someone we love. Love, in that way, is liberating. Love sets us free. That type of love is there whether the person sitting across from you or not. That's when we can say I love you and truly, truly feel it. I love you. I love you when you're sitting across from me. I love you if you're on the other side of the world. I love you even if you're no longer with us, that love is still there. As we practice connecting to that love, that love is all embracing. And the other people in our lives are no longer objects of our love. They are part of our love. And that love starts to embrace everything in our life and happiness becomes limitless. Instead of getting caught up in the things we get frustrated with, we walk in that space of love. Joy, compassion, freedom. But for love to be true, we have to love ourselves. We have to practice that love and allow that love to open and grow. And soon, you can't help but include everyone in that love. We wouldn't exclude anyone from it because it's a beautiful thing. And if we continue to grow more and more, we include not only the people in our lives, but all of nature, all of the earth, all of the universe. And when we embrace that love, we suffer less. When we embrace that love, our compassion is great. And when we grow in that love, we're moving through our life in peace. It's a beautiful practice, but it is a practice. So with that, just close your eyes for a moment and breathe into your heart. And feel the love that beats there. And I thank you. Thank you for joining me in this message. Do with it what you will. I'm Coach Bill. If you want to study this a little bit more, go to our website, www.meditateu.me, and look at the classes we're offering. I wish you well. May you be at peace. May you be free from suffering. And may your life be filled with love and kindness. Have a nice day.